Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Gina. Today I'm going to be working on full deck challenge number two and I am on card 14. I haven't worked on these for a while. I haven't worked on anything for a while. <laughs> I've been missing again. I'm sorry. It's just summer at my house. <laughs> so I've had one of my granddaughters here and we've been having fun and we took her home a couple of days ago. So I'm going to try to get some videos done. But once again, my computer is not working. So I don't know when I'll get these like actually uploaded to my computer. But I'm going to work on some. So for full deck, or for card 14, we need blue, cheesecloth, ticket, and stamping. And I'm going to try to remember um, the things that she did and try to do some of the things that she did. Because they were pretty neat. So... Um, the first thing that we're going to do is put some tissue paper on this part. And I just use glue. Let me get my little glue magazine. I forgot about that. So, I hope that you all are doing good this summer. Having a good summer so far. We are kind of staying in. It's just so doggone hot here already. Like, since May. <laughs> You would think that we lived where it got hot really quick, and we don't. We don't live there. <laughs> Our tomato plants are so tall already. And, um, they're really dry, though. They're looking kind of puny. We can't keep them watered quite enough. We just can't. They're just looking and we don't want a huge water bill so it's kind of like wow what do we do here <laughs> I've been trying to keep my flowers looking good but I'll tell you I'm not gonna get a monster water bill over my flowers <laughs> not I'm just not. <laughs> Got to pay that bill. <laughs> I'd rather have water for my showers than cooking than that. Sorry, I'm where you can't see me. I'm just getting these corners down real good. Right. Making sure everything's down. That is the bad part about using the glue and not the matte gel. I mean the glue stick and not matte gel. But I like that it glues so fast and I don't have to use my... Um, My heat gun. Words. I need to use those on my thing I just glued. That would be stupid. I think I pushed my scissors farther and farther away. Not like there's something I use every time. I really am sorry I haven't had videos. I've just been so busy. Last week we went, 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 went. I feel like we didn't even hardly get to enjoy our granddaughter. We just drug her all over. She's 15, so it's not like we drug a baby everywhere. But still. Okay, so we did that. And then we need to. Oh, my computer came on. Oh, you guys. 
I came on. I think that's happened before when I was recording and I said it wouldn't. What it is is my mouse is not talking to my computer. And um, I'm having trouble with that. After the electricity, if the electricity just suddenly goes out, it won't talk. And I'm just going to go get me a wired mouse that will just, I'm just over this, a wired mouse and a wired um, keyboard. I'm just over this. I don't know what's going on with it. It's happened every time if the electricity just suddenly goes out. It'll take it two or three days and then all of a sudden, bam, it'll start working. And I am just over it. I am so over it. Um, that I'm just, I'm done with it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And just because it's on right now doesn't mean in five minutes it will be. But that's the first time I've got it to actually come to the on screen this morning. It was just black. I got like this flippy flap here, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it there. It's kind of interesting. Okay. So thin. Thin, 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 thin. What did she do? <laughs> I've got a mess on my desk because I, um, I got two uh, videos ready. Oh, I think she did this next. She used some of this metal flake stuff. So we take um, this. I got the little one for this because I thought if I used my big one, I would get two biggest spots. Okay. Oh, do I have some? I don't think I have. Yeah, I have some thread in my... Um, sewing machine. Can't really get to it, but I have some. I don't know what I'm going to... Oh, I did pick out some glue. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get to my sewing machine. Okay, so we're going to put maybe some right here. And you take some of this it on there. And mine that I'm using is from, oh goodness gracious, picking half of it up there. Did you see that? <laughs> I hope I'm where you can see. Oh, I'm too high. I need to, I need to come down some. Mine that I'm using is from Dollar Tree. She had some silver and it just looked beautiful. Um, they had silver at Dollar Tree and I bought gold. Now I'm wishing I'd have bought silver. But this is what I got, so this is what I'm using. But, you know, that's pretty easy to do. Watch somebody else use something and think, oh, I wish I had that. Don't we all do that sometimes? Oh, why don't I have that? This jar will last me forever, I think. I've used and used on it already. As long as I don't try to take half the jar out again. That must just be one big piece in there. Oh my goodness. into my hand because I have glue all over my hand now. Okay, make a little bit here. That 
just more than a little bit on my finger there. just right there. Right there. Now, can any of that come off and go back? I kind of think that's a no. Okay. <laughs> I have been gold leafed. <laughs> Let's close this up. What she did next, I remember the first time I saw this, because I watched this, I'm way behind on this, so um, I couldn't pull up the video this morning, but this was a while back she did this, and the first time I saw this, I was like, what did you just do? <laughs> but I want to try it, because, you know, I want to do the things that she does. At first I thought, I don't want to be a copycat and do that, but... You know, she does these for us to try these things and get out of our box. <laughs> I've been out of my box a lot this past week, so why not just do this too? Oh, I don't want to get that on my good mat. Alright, so I'm going to drink real quick. Yeah, some of you. A lot of you have probably seen this and you're not going to be shocked what she did. Oh, well, I don't know. If that's like, I should probably, some of that probably needs to come off there. I'll just clean that all up. Because some of that is not down. Got way more on there than needs to be. So she took this and she did this. She did. She did that. Maybe I need to take my this and just push on those. This is my faithful tea towel, I guess. I got this at um, Dollar Tree a long time ago, and I haven't seen any more quite like this. It is humongous, and I love it. I've washed and washed it. I've washed it probably three times, and though the stains don't come out, but I don't care. Sometimes it just gets to where you have to wash it. I love it. You do things like that and it needs washed. So then she took, what did she do? She took it and she, what did she do? What did she do? I don't remember what she did, you guys. Did she do this? She did it uneven. Did she do it like that? Oh my goodness, I don't remember. And my computer is not working. Well, she didn't turn them upside down, did she? Perhaps she did. That looks better than what I was doing. Okay, so we're gonna do it this way. And I'm gonna sew it real quick. it was threaded. I do have a 
lava in there, I hope. Because if I don't, I'm going to have to pause. <laughs> uh, I have my stuff and the thing leaning on it, and that's not working. All right, here we go. We're going to sew these together now. Sounds like a song. Everybody together now. <laughs> yeah, I need that to be a little, oh, no, a little wider. No? Okay, let's try this. Okay, I wish it was a little bit closer. Okay, okay let's put my journal back up here. Ooh. At the top, I need to pull it through or something. I didn't think to. Well, it'll be okay. I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the back of that because I did not um, back the base at the top. Right now I'll just put, well here, no that won't stick. I'll just put a little piece of this for now and then I'll work on it later. I'll fix it later. Just something for now so it doesn't pull through. And then that way you don't have to wait for me to figure this out. This will cut it good. Okay. There we go, and now this is what we got. So now, oh, let me move the light that sits over there. And this this place of mine, you gotta move this to move that. Okay, so here is my uh, main my. It's gonna be my main thing. That's gonna have to be inked up for sure. I don't like that white. And then I want to work on the cheesecloth real quick because the cheesecloth has to dry a little bit. And I do not have my um, my Teflon pad. It's in on the kitchen table. My granddaughter and I were making... Um, I have this out for my next project. We were making lots of wax seals while she was here. She fell in love with doing wax seals. So, okay, so for the cheesecloth, she took a little piece of cheesecloth, and I want to try this because this looked interesting, and I think it only needed to be a single bit here, let's see something on here, just like this, a little single bit, I think. Well, maybe I'll double layer it, but it didn't need to be. Okay, let me get my... Is this my... Yeah, okay. That's my Mod Podge one, so it'll work. Okay, and then we've got my matte gel here. I just have Liquitex because I found that on sale for $4.24 compared to $16.99. I hope this will work. And then she took this and she just 
put it on here in different places. And I hope this doesn't glue to this paper. I just thought of that. I'm going to have to... Hmm. You know what? I have this cutting board that I used to always use. Before I got fancy stuff, we're going to transfer to this. This was my thing that I always used to use in the past. Before I got like my Teflon board and stuff. I went and I bought me this at Dollar Tree, and this is what I used to always use. And we're going to use this because I'm afraid that when this dries, it would stick to that paper. And I have a feeling that thought was right after I started thinking about it. And then that would run the whole thing. Okay, I have a feeling this is plenty. Okay. That I probably need to replace, but we're just going to put it on there for now, and I'll replace it after the video is done. Okay, so then you let that dry. So I need to get a baby wipe for my brush. Okay, now we need to... Um, Start layering up and this is going to be my blue this piece of fabric here I'm gonna get that on there and she just started layering up different um, layers this is my ticket I liked that ticket um, I think it's a Tim Holtz it was in my book that I put all my Tim Holtz stuff in just inking on the edge here okay and she used all her different um, fancy pieces of paper. I don't have a lot of those. I just do not. Um, but, and I, I pull out these two for my blues. I don't know which one I want to use. Just a moment. Oh. I just don't know which ones I want to use. So we'll decide. And I've got my butterfly. I pulled out some vellum. This is from doing, this is paper towel from doing um, eco dyeing. I thought this might be kind of cool. And I've got some of this paper. I thought this might be kind of cool. And then I've got this. And I pulled out um, a bit of this. And then where did my music paper go? Oh, here is my music paper. And I've got this stamp. This is my stamp. So we'll just start tearing off little pieces. It doesn't take much of anything. Now I've got to decide. You know, I kind of think, oh, I like this blue. I got this blue's got to be it because I pulled this butterfly to go with this. So let's, um, I can't get my fabric scissors because they're way back there and I have to lean over in front of you. Just, oh, I can't tear. This fabric doesn't tear. It's old, old, old and it just won't tear anymore. Let's see how much do I need. I think it's beautiful. Um, I just, I'm working on an album with it. I want it to fray a little bit if it will. I guess a journal, not an album. I don't know why it's an album. I 
I've been to two classes in the last couple weeks. This is the little journal that I'm working on. And um, it's just got regular papers in it right now. Um, but this is the stitch that I learned. Isn't that cool? But I've still got to put two more. Or no, maybe I got... No, this one's done. I got this one done. i just got to put the closure on it. But isn't that pretty? We learned, um, we learned three, three stitches. These two aren't done. This one I'm working on. We learned that stitch. And we learned this stitch. This stitch I'm not crazy about. But then we also learned that we could put beads in there. And I think that would be a lot prettier to have beads in there. But um, I just love this this fabric. I love that fabric. That's an old fabric that I found somewhere when I was out and about. So I love that. Okay, so then I've got this. And then I've got, I found this just recently. Um, it's that old Beethoven book. And I grabbed it up. It was at the bins. I grabbed it up because I loved how little, how little this is. There's a whole bunch on one page. I'm going to do um, a haul video next of everything I've found. Oh, I got two of them. I'm going to use this side. So let's see. I want it to be about this big, I think. Let's ink that up. I'll save that little scrap. I'll get rid of that. I got a whole big book of it. Of course, I'll share a whole bunch with my friends. So. And I'll probably share some on that in the group that I'm in online. I'll put that. Oh, I like that so far. Isn't that pretty? I'll put that right there, probably. And oh, some of this. I got some great books. I'm going to do it in a two-parter because I don't think I can do it in one. And then I got some of this to put on there. I should probably tear this. I thought this was so cool. The, you could see the string marks where we wrapped it too. Comes out really cool. Huh? Uh, oops, I'm losing. But I may not need it. There, there's where I need it, right there. Just a little bitty bit. Just a tiny bit sticking out of there. I like that, just like that. And I don't think I need this. That's just too much. Okay, and then this, I think. Ooh, there. That was a pretty baby. Or, let's see. I'm going to come in right there. And I'm going to staple right there so that things will quit moving on me. Oh, poop. I still have that to get in there. That is not dry yet. No. I'm going to pause you. Okay, I took out the staple, and now we're going to figure out how much of this, oops, I tore that up a little bit, how much of this we want on here, I'm thinking I like it about right there, so I don't know, nope, I can't, oh, I can't tear it, so I'm going to cut it, try to cut it, well, it's straight, <laughs> I don't know if I can, yeah, Maybe make it look not so straight. Okay, there we 
tobacco. So that's going to go there. And then this and this will go... I want it right back where I had it. Just wanted that down under there. Like that. Okay, and then this will go... Oops, I want this to go like this. Under here. Like that, I think. Get it back the way I had it. I liked it. <laughs> it's not quite there yet. Are you as picky? <laughs> just a little, just a millimeter up, a millimeter down. Oh no, a little bit of oh, It's not quite going. It's getting stuck on each other. Okay, I gotta get these two right. I think I had that underneath and this on top. There we go. Now maybe those are right. And then I get this. Okay, more down like this. And this was more like this. This goes like that. It gets a little bit different than the first time, but it's okay. Okay, we're going to staple it. Nothing ever goes the same as it was, does it? Oh, that's more fabric. Stapler. This is going to go right here. My butterfly is going to go right there. I know my butterfly is oversized, but I just didn't find. Let me see. Let's slip one more time for a butterfly. Let's see. Because my blue and green, i got to remember it's got to go. And with my blue and green, a she would go good. Or I could have flowers too, but I didn't really see any. That's pretty. Well, let's go with that one. Where can I put it? Where did I find this one? I don't know where I found this one. I'll worry about that later. I thought about flowers, but I just didn't see any of my flowers. That that works good. I'll put this back in here. I'll lay this over here. That one's much better. I'm glad we took a look, because she's much better. She doesn't like take up the whole thing. I'd like to put some of this in here. Maybe could this go, well maybe this could go on the other side. Ooh, that looks nice there, doesn't it? I like how that flips up there. Okay, let's get this about right. There. Oh, I like that there. You know, though this is all done, I can't even tell I split this card in half, hardly. Put so much stuff on it. Okay, let's put a row of glue. Here. Cat in here? Everything's moving underneath my feet. My cat must be in here.
Now I didn't use my um, stamp like she did. I can't even remember where she used it. She stamped with a script stamp somewhere, but I didn't use that. If I tried it somewhere like on this or something now, it's not. I've got too much under there. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> It's not going to work. Let's do some inking on here. Sometimes I think oh, all those layers, they, they don't even show up. But yet, if they weren't under there, it would just be a plain card and it wouldn't look the same. So let's get some... Oh, it's all stuck. Duck, what is going on with my thread? What? It's like, oh, I don't know what that was all about. Oh dear. What? I'm having trouble making my little nest here. thread. This metallic thread is always hard anyway, but this is giving me trouble. Oh, it's almost at the end. That's why I'm having so much trouble. Oh no, I'm having to buy metallic thread. This stuff's not cheap. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stop here. I didn't think to get a pair of scissors in my hand. I usually wrap it with my left hand and cut it. All right. Okay. So let's put that under there. Oh well, if you want to stick out, I'll cut you off. I'll just cut you off, little string. Am I where you're supposed to be? Maybe push up just a little bit. Oh wow, I'm using fabric glue and not my art glitter glue, but that's what I'm using. This is one thick card. I pulled this out. I thought it might look pretty right there. But I would try it. I don't know if it'll work with this glue, but I'm going to try it. Put it where you can still see the last little bit of blue, because there is supposed to be blue on here. And my blue is getting about, there's blue here and blue here. So I've got the blue and the cheesecloth is barely showing. <laughs> Ticket, they're supposed to be stamping on here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Let's take this little birdie and let's stamp her right there. Let's do that. <laughs> Oh my. And let's stamp her in blue. How sad. I had blue setting out for a reason. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, she did good. Usually these stamps are really good. I love these stamps. They are. An old set by Michaels. Okay, now I have stamping on here. <laughs> I about missed it all. Here we go. And I know she looks dark, but she is in blue. But she is stamped too. So now I have my blue, which this really is blue. She is, she's a dark blue. I stamped her in cobalt blue. 
archival cobalt blue and cheesecloth is here you saw me I'll do it <laughs> ticket and stamping so thank you all for joining me today you have a blessed day and I will see you soon bye bye